the ladies that are in the uh, in the area today, Sister Carolyn, we have two beauties. Oh I my see. gosh, my gosh, waka, my goodness. Waka. <laughs> okay. And we'd like to introduce you to the lady on the far right. Give us your name, grade, and some other stuff. My name is Amanda White, and I'm in the eleventh grade this year. I've been in I've been enrolled in IEF since I was in kindergarten. So that's been 12... What, 1964, was it? Yes, 1964. Yep. <laughs> I just haven't figured out the way to graduating yet. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Sweetie, you're very verbal. We're going to have a time with you. While we <laughs> and, of course, we got some history with your family, don't we? Yes. Is he listening today? Bro I Brother Byron? Him. Okay, you can say hi to him. <laughs> hi, Byron. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was clever. Can you tell us about you, girl? Our other guest is... Kim, Kenya Nelson, and I'm in 11th grade too, and I've been going to internationals for three and a half years now. I'd so, say at least. It seems yeah. a little bit longer, but okay. All right. Yeah. Very good. Well, we'll, we'll uh, maybe we could begin with, um, young ladies, tell us um, maybe what, what we're doing for you educationally, because I know you have friends in other schools. And I know kids talk about what they do in school. That's a normal topic of conversation. Can you give us some comparisons between what we're doing and what uh, might be occurring in other schools with your friends and whoever be first? It doesn't matter. Go ahead. In fact, talk among yourselves if you'd like to. I'll just go get a glass of water. So you all go ahead. Well, um, I know one thing is that the math is way more challenging. Like, I'll tell people, yeah, I'm in free calculus, and they'll be in the same exact grade as me, and they'll be like, I'm only taking Algebra 1, and I'll be like, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> if you had Algebra 1 and 1, 7th grade, maybe? Yeah, 7th grade. Yeah, right, okay. So, hmm. yeah. All right. And, of course, Spanish. Somebody talk about Spanish, and if you want to uh, give us Spanish. a brief. <laughs> Spanish starts in kindergarten, I do remember that, and it continues until 12th grade. You don't have a choice in taking it. Right. It's, a, it's an automatic. It's an automatic you get it every class. day. Right? You get it every yeah. day, okay. much like math and English. Um, we take tests on it, and there's a whole oral reading and grammar portion of it and reading comprehension. And all the years that I've been taking Spanish, I can honestly say that I can speak fluently to people in their native language. Great. Wow. Wow. We should, in fact, we're going to, every year we do this with our Looney Spanish department. They are <laughs> such fun. Oh, I love to put them on this station because we have folks from other countries that are, uh, uh, like Colombia. Uh, help me, Paul Jr., uh, Colombia, uh, Paraguay. Puerto Rico, Paraguay, thank you, oh, and, of course, Mexico as well. <laughs> so we have so much fun when they come on. We'll, we'll do that maybe in January have an OLA, an OLA program. That's the only word I have command of. <laughs> Which, by the way, for you that, that I far supersede in oral language, that, that means hello, I think, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, very good. I'm so thorough in that area. I, I know that word, taco, and from there on it's downhill. <laughs> well, thank you, young ladies, for that introduction. Hey, say hi to somebody that I spoke to last night. Would you tell her hi for me? Hi, Auntie. <laughs> <laughs> She was so kind to talk to me at a late hour, so we appreciate that. Captain, we're going to move to you right away. Yes, sir. Captain, what do I hear in the background? What is it I hear? <laughs> Everybody that, should know this sound. How's that for a segue, Mr. Carolyn? Yes. Yeah. And uh, this is Captain, of course, John Augustine with the Citadel right downtown Kersley and Beach, if mm -hmm, I'm not correct. mistaken. Okay. And I'm very fortunate, sir, to, re to be on your board, board of uh, advisory board. And, and we're I, very fortunate to have you on. Well, I've Art. heard of the comments, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> but we are so pleased with uh, what you folks do for, for Genesee County and even beyond. And I, it's your time of year. This is it. This is the big one. This is how you raise probably 80 to 90 percent of your um, income through, through donations to the bell ringers. Captain, just why don't you tell us whatever's on your mind. Oh, sure. listen, before we do that, Captain, would you give us a short word of prayer to begin with? Sir? I would be honored. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you today for who you are and for uh, the awesome God you are, all that you have done to, to bless us and to watch over us. And yet, Lord, you know the great needs that um, not only uh, we face here in Flint, but across this great country, people in need, people uh, needing work and needing basic uh, sustenance. Lord, I just thank you for... Um, all the organizations and the good people out there who, who try to meet those needs. Lord, uh, we are honored and privileged to be a part of that. Um, and God, we just pray that you would uh, open up the doors of generosity that people Amen. would give to um, all kinds of organizations who are seeking to do good. And that, Lord, uh, especially your people, the, the church, might 
uh, stand tall in this time to uh, meet the needs that are out there. Uh, bless us as we continue in this season. Bless this program as we discuss Amen. important thank matters. You, and, and Lord, uh, just uh, thank you as well for the work of the International Academy, helping folks get a foot up with a good education. God bless that ministry, that endeavor as well. And we'll give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. amen and amen. Thank you, audience, for, for abiding with us on that. Whenever we have a man of the Lord, um, sister, we always try to open in prayer, and I'm so glad that I remember to do that. Captain, the floor is yours. Tell us what's happening, but I want to alert the audience. We're going to have a live call-in pretty soon, mm -hmm. and you know who it's going to be. It's going to be a bell ringer out in the Genesee <laughs> Valley Mall right now, outside, freezing. But uh, it's, it's for a wonderful work, and she actually really enjoys it, and she's pulling in the money. She told me yesterday she thought she had $3 million. <laughs> well, According to our numbers, we're not quite there yet, yet, but yet. Okay. Um, All right. she, she is doing well. Yeah. You know, this is, as you said, it is our biggest fundraising time of the year. Mm -hmm. uh, the money we raise in these six weeks leading up to Christmas is what keeps us going throughout the year. Mm -hmm. um, and, and this year uh, looks to be a year where the need is so greater much greater than, greater than, ever. than it's yeah. ever been. Uh, but it, the folks at the kettles are such a um, critical part. People mm -hmm. ringing that bell, whether they're um, doing it for a few hours or doing mm -hmm. it every day, uh, we would not be able to do mm -hmm. that ourselves without people in the community yeah. coming together and helping. Yeah. Uh, that, that allows us to do our Christmas um, distribution, mm -hmm. which will be coming up December 20th and 21st. Mm -hmm. uh, we give out food and toys to uh, thousands and thousands of, of folks from Genesee County. Mm -hmm. And um, that would not be possible without the community coming together, helping us raise this mm -hmm. money. And then, of course, I know because we've, we've had some of our school families, uh, you've assisted them with uh, rent and utilities and some other things when they were in a tight so you might address that just for a moment sir yeah uh what the salvation army does year round when we do the christmas stuff people know that but we we have <laughs> helped almost 700 folks avoid eviction from their home uh, yeah. from their apartment um, we've provided helped over 1600 people who are facing uh, shutoffs of the utilities or their utilities have been shut mm -hmm. off and they need to get them back on uh, we distribute food from our uh, Beecher location mm -hmm. to help uh, families supplement mm -hmm. their food budgets. Uh, we also are, are involved helping people with uh, after school education and a place for their kids to go during the summer, mm -hmm. a summer day camp program. So, you know, we're, we're trying to meet needs 12 months of the year, yeah. uh, not just Christmas. And I know there are people listening that, I, I don't, that have to know either their own family or a friend or a relative or a neighbor that has had benefit from the Army. So we simply, I'm so pleased to be able to serve in that capacity, sir. Yes, yeah. and more and more we're finding the people who are coming to us are people who were donors <coughs> before. Almost half the people who come asking for assistance, they've never asked before. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. and now maybe they were donors last year, and this year they're on the mm -hmm. other side. They need mm -hmm. a little help. Well, that, that is so good to hear. Yes. yes. Once you've been given, you, you, I guess it's just within your, your nature to hopefully give back. Yes. That's so good. Okay. Um, Captain, uh, any idea how close we are to our goal this year in terms of dollars raised? Yeah, we're running actually a little bit behind last year's pace, and we've increased the goal because the need has increased. Yeah, correct. So uh, as a whole, we're running about um, uh, 6 or 7% behind. Okay. And uh, our goal this year for Christmas is eight hundred and forty thousand five hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of money, and uh, I've been amazed. Every year we've had to ask for a little more, mm -hmm. and every year, despite this economy, this community yeah. has stepped up, and we have surpassed the goal. It's it's amazing. Okay. Well, I think I hear a voice, uh, mm -hmm. Captain, and uh, we're going to bring in Paul Herrick here too, because he's been a bell ringer for us on a volunteer basis. Is that who I think it is, Sister Carolyn? Yeah. Hope so. Hey, hello. No, excellent. Is she hello? Here? Mary Sanders, good afternoon. Good morning to you. I, I ask you to call in. Uh, Captain Augustine is here. And uh, tell us, would you mind telling us how it's going for you at the Genesee Valley Mall outdoors? Yeah, I'm outdoors. <laughs> well, that, that confirmed her location, everyone. No need to GPS her. Uh, tell us the door you're at, dear. Hey, okay, Merry Christmas. I'm by location at the main entry. 
Okay. And, and audience, I know you'll hear her say Merry Christmas. That is for the people that are passing her by. And if they do donate, she'll probably say thank you or God bless you or something like that. Mary, how, how is the giving this morning? Can you tell Captain, please? Oh, it's, it's been real great. Uh, it's been real busy. And my bucket is probably halfway full. Yay! 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 Great job, great job, Mary. Mary, I, I haven't told them yet, but you, you took this on as a task, but it's it's almost become a ministry of hers now. Yeah. And it's very evident that she enjoys doing this. So I she volunteered to do this all year long. Yeah. You know, the amazing thing with that is you get a chance to welcome and brighten the day of these shoppers who are maybe hassled and and harried and, and and you can just be a bright spot just by saying god bless you mary to tell them that you know about the doors you open and talk a little bit about that dear uh, as people enter the building i open the door for them good morning merry christmas tell okay. them to have a good christmas okay and see you in a bit <laughs> yeah, that frequently on the way out with the change or dollars that they might have that they, they do stop they appreciate that door being open her cordiality and uh, i've dropped in on occasion and stood there with her so i know she's she's working hard for you sir and she is doing the job just right she is being a blessing to that business because she's providing them a service greeting their customers yeah. opening the door and at the same time helping us help people yeah Mary, anything else that you'd like to highlight before we move on to the program? Thank you, sir, for your donation. Just a second. <laughs> uh, appreciate your donation. Merry Christmas. She's working. She's busy. That's a working girl. Mary, anything else you'd like to say in closing? Uh, no. Merry Christmas. Okay. <laughs> well said. Yeah, I heard it was about 62 out there. Is that right? 62 degrees or yeah. 62 people? Below. All right. Mary, thank you for calling. My winter boots and about three coats. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. Keep doing good things. And I'm sure the captain will say God bless you as yes, well. We God appreciate you. you, dear. Thank you very, very thank much. You. Okay. Thanks, Mary. Bye-bye. Of course. Bye. Okay. Um, Paul Jr., come on and, and uh, stand or sit or be in the camera for us, please. Uh, captain, uh, uh, Paul was yep. ringing last weekend. Uh, at the uh, at the Genesee Valley Ball indoors, that rascal got indoors on us. <laughs> How do you mean? He was that? in his t-shirt and just uh, just having a great time. <laughs> Paul, I'm kidding about the t-shirt, but I know. <laughs> why don't you tell us a little bit about your experience and? and uh, kind of how it maybe made you feel or whatever would be on your mind. You're very verbal and I'm sure you'll handle that. Oh, uh, bell ringing. Uh, I started actually bell ringing last year for you yes, guys. Yes, I remember. Um, it's a lot of fun, especially when you have more people around there mm -hmm. with you. Like bell ringing by yourself is, is always fun to do, but when you have your friends around there with you having yeah, a good time, it's always so fun. Yeah. Um, a, a funny story is uh, oh, last yeah. Thanksgiving, but well, before Thanksgiving, I was out bell ringing with a friend of mine, Michaela Vines, which is a friend of theirs. Okay. And we were all out there, and we were like an hour into it, and me and her had a competition about to see who, how many people would respond back to us, because sometimes <laughs> people in their rush yeah. wouldn't really respond yeah. back. So yeah. we say happy holidays, they say it to us, and then we tally it as mm -hmm. one. And throughout the hour, we'd gotten a lot between ourselves, and we were arguing who got the most. Like just like school. Yeah, 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 yeah like okay. school. Arguing and I. And we, like between arguing, we'd still say happy holidays to people. <laughs> and I say happy holidays, go back to arguing with her. And then a group of like five people were coming by and she tried to say happy holidays to them. And she forgot what she was saying because she was arguing to me. <laughs> and she said happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> and the group stopped and they, they kind of laughed at her. <laughs> and then I was laughing. I was on the floor rolling around oh, just God. laughing. And it, it was just a really fun time. She was embarrassed, but okay. got over that oh, really quick. Yeah, okay. And it, it's just always a good time to have your friends around there doing something okay. good for the community like Bell Ring. Well, I know we've got a group that's going to be out at Walmart. I think it's next weekend, sir. That's and, right. Um, there, there's going to be several ringing. Paul, maybe you're part of this. Yeah, for Asia, NHS. Uh, for um, honor, our honor society, I think. And you're, there's several that are going to sing, and then they're going to exchange between singing and ringing. Hey, that's mm, a good excellent. Rhyme. The singing they really makes a difference, too. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and we'll have a little fun with that. We'll yeah. probably try to get that on film or something, Paul, so that's great. Any final remarks about that? Good experience, I think. You <laughs> seem very pleased. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, just if you ever get a chance to get involved in something like that, please do, because it's a wonderful opportunity. Okay. Yeah. And by the way, if you want to call in, folks, at 239-5733, you can call to the, uh, talk to these two beautiful young ladies, 239-5733. 
uh, or Captain Augustine, or uh, of course uh, Paul Herring Jr., or even myself, or the great, the great, the fantastic Sister Carolyn will answer the phone. So there you go. When you hear this bell, folks, dig in your pocket a little bit. Even a few pennies helps. Pennies, nickels, dimes, and of course, we do like, as the church says, a silent offering. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, if you get my drift there, folks. Okay. They can also bring donations now to oh. the studio. They can also bring donations Okay, now. there you go. Captain, I want to touch a little on the angel tree. Could you touch on that a little bit? Yeah. Paul, yeah. thank you very much, sir. We appreciate you. Thank you. And thank you for ringing, Paul. No problem. Yeah, the angel tree is just uh, completely critical for our Christmas distribution. Whereas we need donations, we need toys uh, th that we can give out to these kids. We, we give out over 5,000 toys uh, on average a Oh, year. my goodness. Yeah, it's, a, it's yeah. a huge number. You can go to a, a Walmart. Uh, they have trees, angel trees. You can take a tag off. You go buy a gift, and you just put it in the box there, and then it gets delivered to us. Or if you just want to purchase a toy at $20 and under and bring it to the Salvation Army, we would love to uh, receive that. Um, it, it allows us to brighten the year for these kids. Okay, Captain, one last thought here on the Angel Tree. In the Genesee Met Valley Mall, in, yes. right in front of the Penny Store, inside, inside the mall, as you move, move down the, the, uh, the corridor, there's a tree. And there's they a can, tree there. They can yes. take a name off of that? Yes, can you can get it at that? the Genesee Valley Mall, okay. at, uh, at the Walmarts. And if you go out there today at noon, you'll hear the band playing Christmas music. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, Captain, thank you. We're going to move over thank to you. our kids here for a few minutes, but we'll always come back for a few closing remarks. So if you'd please hang around, sir, if that... And, and how is Sister uh, Augustine, Captain Chris? She is doing wonderful. Busy uh, as a bee. I, I called her yesterday, and she... she hello, hello, hello. No, you put that over there. No, come and stand in line over here. <laughs> Bye. That's all I said and called you. <laughs> okay. Good move. <laughs> okay. Young ladies, young ladies, tell us a little bit now, and we're back to Amanda and uh, Kenya. Why don't you tell us a little bit about um, activities you do at school or uh, favorite classes? And we got to get into that area of what are you intending to do after high school? If you got a college in mind and a career you might be thinking about, I'd like to pursue that a little bit with you as well. So who's going to gab first? So it's in that order, right? <laughs> it's it your order. I'm oh. giving you suggestions, yeah. Well, my favorite class is British Literature, which... British Literature? Yes, British really? Literature. Really? Okay. Mostly the writing part, but yeah. I like that yeah. class the most. Yeah. I was going to say, I'm kind of shocked to you what, what that. Yeah, what have you... I didn't... Frankly, Sister Carol, I didn't know we offered British Literature. <laughs> <laughs> is it in English? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Old English, Tell me, yeah. who, who have you been studying then? Well, we read sonnets by a whole bunch of different people. Sure. <laughs> Browning and some Shakespeare, of that stuff. Of course. Yeah, Shakespeare, of course. Of course. Okay. And we've read Beowulf. And yes. what was the last one we just read? Um, Sir Gowan and the Green Knight. Yes. And we did. We had a whole coverage of uh, what's the word? Oh, well, that's nice. I like that. <laughs> yeah, I know. Dead air. <laughs> Well, my favorite class is British literature. Apparently. <laughs> well, that's good. And uh, give me the next one in line. Would it... The next one in line would be Spanish. Spanish, of course. You're so... Why don't you give us a little uh, a little something in Spanish for the season? Can you give us a, a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and some other things you'd like to say? No. No. <laughs> no. Feliz Navidad. There, there we go. got that one. Down. Okay. <laughs> Uh, there's a song about that, too, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, since you're the pro here in Spanish, uh, how, how, you enjoy it as well? Uh, yeah, that's actually my favorite class. Oh, wow. Are you going to do anything when, with, with that when you get out of our school? Are you going to maybe minor or major in that at college? Have you thought about no, that? No. The thing I want to major in is uh, zoology. Mm -hmm. And, wow, with the intention of doing what? Working with animals. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was pretty obvious. Well, yeah, but it, now that means that you're thinking of working in a zoo, opening up your own private company, uh, um, working in a pet store, buying a pet store, owning a pet store line. What might you have in mind? Actually, I was hoping to work in a zoo. Okay, okay. There's, a, well, what's Technology. the biggest one here? It's got to be. Up there, well, it? Detroit Zoo is pretty good, but the, mm -hmm. probably one of the better zoos is in San Diego. I think mm -hmm. you yeah. pretty, have you ever been there? Uh, no. No, okay. All right. Well, I know it's a fantastic place. Uh, but zoology, now you're heavy into uh, biology, anatomy, physiology. What yeah. have you taken at our school to move you in that direction? Uh, last year we took uh, biology. Okay. 
So, and I have two credits for that now. Okay. So. And by the way, our biology book, for those of you that might be interested and in the audience, what we're using is uh, at least equivalent, and I heard a little bit more to what my college is offering. So mm -hmm. it's a substantial textbook and very challenging course. And, and if you're interested in science, it's marvelous. Um, well, Ken, um, where, where might you be thinking of uh, for a career, Amanda? What do you got in mind? Um, after I graduated from college, since my dad hurt his back a while back, I started going to physical therapy with him, and I started shadowing his physical therapist. So I want to go to physical and occupational therapy. Hmm. Well, where did that occur at? Not the injury, but the where did you do your shadowing? At Cora. It's um, on Linden, I do believe. Oh, yes, it is. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Um, so that your career choice was initiated or prompted by an accident to your father. Mm -hmm. Hmm. That That's real interesting. Yeah. Wow. Um, and have you young ladies taken your ACTs yet and all that? Did we, are we there? Not until S March. S yeah, that's March. Okay. Didn't we take a mock one at school here uh -huh. a while ago? Yes, this past week, actually. Yeah. How did Thursday. we do in that? Do we know yet? Do you feel good about it? No, we still haven't gotten our results from <laughs> the PSAT. Okay. <laughs> okay. And uh, how, about tur uh, how about finals? How'd you do there? What do you think? Knock them out? Yes, actually. Yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. I hope so. Uh, colleges, what might you be thinking of? Um, I'm married mine down to three, the Grand Valley, um, Eastern, and Northern. Northern Michigan, Michigan in yeah, Marquette? Michigan. Oh, yeah. my goodness. If you think you're chilly today, girl. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it's not just below zero, it's way below zero up there. Amanda, what about you? Um, I wanted to say close to home, but okay. not as close. Okay. So, um, U of M. Uh, in Ann Arbor? Yes, oh, Ann Arbor or Flint. Okay. Um, CEMU, Central Michigan right. University, or um, Grand Valley State. Okay. Uh, CMU, you know what they are to our school, don't you? They're, they're our authorizer, Captain. Oh, really? every, every charter usually has a, an authorizer. It's generally mm -hmm. a, a university like Central Michigan University, which, incidentally, in the state of Michigan, they have the most charters that they authorize. Very reputable. In fact, they're one of the leaders in the United States as well. Interesting. Okay. Yes, it is. Absolutely. All right, young ladies, uh, we've got a few minutes. Captain, let's bounce back to you. Uh, of course, I ring as well, and I have a, you know, I just can't stand still when I'm ringing bells. <laughs> Yeah, I, style. Well, I, yeah, I don't know if it's a style or they have, <laughs> just haven't thrown a net over me yet, but I have a lot of fun out there. And I must say Merry Christmas 48 million and a half times because that's, that's my yeah. term. Yeah, I like to say that. And uh, often if you make eye contact with someone and kind of be pleasant with them and happy and talk to the kids and all that kind of stuff, if they're walking one way, you know what, Sister Carolyn, on the way back, they got a little change. They'll come over and pop it in your in your bucket. So I I, I like I kind of like working the crowd. Yeah, there you I go. enjoy that very much. But apparently Mary Sanders is working the crowd right now. She's very good at it. I've watched her, and uh, they sure do respond to her. Yeah, I think that yeah. kind of brings back what yeah. we used to have, which was just people were civil and mm -hmm. pleasant with mm -hmm. with one another. Now we go into places we don't even look at each other. Yeah. And being a bell ringer is a, an opportunity to bring yeah, that back. Make first just contact, right? Someone you don't even know, just say, hey, I hope yeah. you're having a good day. And it, yeah. it can lift someone's spirits. It really can. Well, I get it. If I can, I'll start waving when they're down the hall. <laughs> and they'll say, yeah, you, come on here, give. Sir, can we <laughs> the other <laughs> door? Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but I have a little fun with that, and that's that's okay to tell you, isn't it? Yes, okay. it is. Right. Hey, you should have fun with it. <laughs> okay. Well, Sister Carolyn, uh, how, do you, have you ever rung bells, dear? Have you ever, no. Would you I like to this year, you and your daughter? <laughs> I'm going to, like, right now. Oh, dear, here we go. Oh, there we this go. <laughs> totally unsupervised here. <laughs> Carolyn, if you and your daughter would like to do that sometime, we, if we'd I love could, to have I would. you. If, yeah. But I'll donate. I know okay. that. Oh, that I know you do that. You do Everybody that. does their part. Yeah, okay, very good. All right, young ladies, anything you'd like to uh, round out the program with? Shout-outs, uh, church yeah. family, all yeah, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I heard, I heard <laughs> that somebody on my immediate right is involved in a little Bible class. Um, yeah. Okay, well, don't be so humble. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about it? I think it's a youth class, isn't it, dear? Uh, yeah. Did I hear right last night? Yeah, you okay. heard right. It's at um, Ignite Flat. Oh, sure. Ooh. Yes. Yeah, so... Um, like every Wednesday, they okay. have Bible study, and they offer classes for certain age groups, and okay. I'm in the teen group. Of course. That's because you're a 
Team. Very good. <laughs> they call me Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good job. Well, real good. What can you recall? What you studied last uh, week? What what book of the Bible you were in? Or? Actually, um, we didn't really do. We had a pizza party, I think, and then okay. we played card games. Okay. <laughs> well, so that's yeah. uh, what book of the Bible is that one? <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> That would be now we're called a revelation. <laughs> well, you keep at it, sister. That's so nice. Uh, yeah, if, if you um, follow uh, follow that book, your life will be in, uh, in very much good order. <clears throat> All right. Well, let's see. You want to put some closing remarks in the young ladies to shout outs or, or highs or um, your objective. Uh, Let's see what should we say. Uh, how are you doing? Where are you? In class. I saw a class ranking, by the way, for each of the years. Are you in the top ten anywhere there, you guys? Not quite. Not okay. quite. Because I saw. We're almost I, there. Yeah. We. Not yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's do a deal here. Okay. Let's do a deal. If you get in the top ten, I'll buy you a. Okay. I'll treat you to a, a what? A McDonald's? McDonald's? No, we got to do more than that. This is a major okay, accomplishment at our parfait. school. <laughs> <laughs> what, a parfait. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's a book. It's a book. I like that. Let's, let's, uh, I'll send you to Olive Garden, okay? Okay. Deal? Deal. Right, go home. Leave right now and study. Right now. Get out of my house here, okay? Oh. And where are you in that list? Do you know, hon? I, I was in the list at the beginning of the year. I don't think I'm on it. Anymore. Well, climb just back up. So it's a deal right. for both of you, okay? We'll send you both to Olive But Olive only if you could take me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was Karen. Uh, that was Sister Carolyn, everybody. Paul, are you in the top ten or close? Uh, close, close, not quite. Okay. Well, I'll throw all three of you in there. Okay. <laughs> but only if you could take me. <laughs> <laughs> same echo, same Sister Carolyn. <laughs> Captain, are you in the top ten? No, 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 I'm not competing at all. <laughs> well, I'll send you there, too. Okay. All right. Well, hey, everybody, we had a good day. Sister, how close are we to the magic hour? We are at the closing. And now, don't forget the community breakfast program next Saturday, September 10th at 9.30 to 10.15 a.m. And it's going to be where? The International Academy of Lent. Free breakfast for the neighborhood, the community, and anybody that would like to join us for a a good, hot, warm breakfast with some good fellowship. We have uh, next week Vermont Christian Church will be sponsoring our breakfast at our uh, at our school. But anyway, wherever you are, my friends, where, Captain, do you have any closing words before I get crazy here? Hey, just enjoy the season and uh, help out folks in need. All right, well said, sir. And again, I I, I exclude my pri pride in being a part of your organization. It's absolutely the finest thing that's happened to me. Wherever you are, everybody, are you walking your dog? Are you smiling at yourself looking in the mirror? Are you bouncing a ball in Bogota? Wherever you are, look at somebody and say, Woo That is some kind of school. Bye, everybody. <laughs>